This is Lampkin Fine Arts, and we're doing a painting. Of course, with coffee. It even has love. We need more of that in a day's rent. For sure. For sure. We are doing a speed painting. So you guys my process. Quick little rundown how I do things. Longer form video. Video probably gonna be 10 minutes an hour. Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But we're gonna paint. Why not? All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my art setup. This is my art setup. This is what I do. It's a little messy. Come on now, I'm an artist. You gotta give me, gotta give me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of leeway. You know, I'm an artist. So this is what artists look like. Boom. Gotta get this stuff cleaned up. Um, anyways, I'm gonna set up the camera. You gonna pick somebody random to do? I'm gonna go on TikTok and see what they suggested. So, uh, yeah. So today we're painting Selena Gomez. Um, I usually start off with the eye. I'm eking her right now. That's the way I like to run things. And we will be painting with the gloss paint. So grab your reference and draw with me. If you're not into that, then stick around and watch. So I guess I'll let you guys know my background with art. I never really went to art school. You know, I was really one of the kids that was just really one of the best in art class, but, um, you know, regular public school, but it was nothing special. I really didn't learn anything from art class. Like they really was teaching a lot of stuff, like, you know, contrast and values, but I never picked it up and I still don't. So I have to get educated in that one day when I have the funds to do so, because right about now I do not. But yeah, I think today is like about like day 23, day 24, 22, probably of learning how to paint. I actually started the series on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. So if you want to go over there, um, do so. That would really help. Or if you came from here, like the video, comment, subscribe, you know, that always helps. But anyways, back to my art journey. Um, I really learned how to draw. Um, well, I got inspired to draw from an old friend of mine. That's like, I still haven't seen this dude in like, I don't know how many years, probably 13 years. Um, I was in kindergarten and he used to draw these, you know, Goku, Dragon Ball Z portraits and stuff. And he was good for his age. Like, dude was about six years old drawing full body. And it, it was really good. Like, he, he really put me on the art and ever since then I was inspired to do that I'm like man I want to do that I want to do that so bad it turns out I was pretty good at it as well so but I just stuck with that and I really learned how to draw uh, watching tutorials you know what I'm saying or just simply looking at something and putting it down on paper and if I didn't know how to do, do that then I would just watch a tutorial on how to do it but you know, eventually everybody picks up their own art style. You know, the reason why I do my eyes the way I do them because of anime. And, you know, it's not even purposely. I, like, I try to draw like a realistic looking eye. But I always like, you know, the animation style a little bit better, you know. So that's what I usually gravitate to. But in the future, um, I would like to go to art class and really learn not how to sketch. I mean, I pretty much got that down. It could be a lot better. It's always room to improve and to learn, but I want to learn how to paint. I want my stuff to be in people's walls, you know, something that's that, that you can buy, that you can keep, and it will build in value. You know, that's the things I'm interested in. But it looks like I'm about done. Um, erasing is always the best part, the easiest part. And I just um, use my arm sleeve because I had nothing else to use. But anyways, um, Touching up a couple things before I start to paint. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I paint. The ink pen that I'm using is Mike Run Pigma pen. Um, you can get this at your nearby Hobby Lobby. That's where I got it from. Here's how it looks like. And I'm using Master Touch Gloss Paint. I'm currently mixing yellow medium and white together to get the first layer of skin. You want that as light as possible. As you see me struggling right now, I had to get it on my finger and some whole extra stuff, you know, the paint running out, you know, you gotta, gotta make it last. But here goes the first layer of skin. You want that all around the face. It doesn't really matter how you stroke it or how you do it. Just get it on the face.
now I'm adding the first layer of hair color. Um, I'm using burnt sienna. And yes, I know her hair is much darker than that, but I'm adding layers on layers. So it's gonna be about three to four to five layers of paint. With a little bit of black to go on the dress. And some red and white to fill in those pretty lips. Here's an example of the colors that I'm using. And I mix that in with a little bit of yellow to get the second layer of skin. second layer of hair I'm using burnt umber pretty sure that's how you pronounce it The third layer of the face. The way I mix is untraditional. Um, I usually don't have a pre planned mixing process. I just go with the flow and whatever looks good, whatever looks good. The thing with gouache paint, um, once you layer it, you never know how it's really gonna look. But I come in with a darker shade of burnt umber. And just to fill in those little hair strands, make it a little a little bit more real coming with some pink and orange and whatever colors to make it look like that i came in with it and this is the fourth layer of the skin coming with another layer for the hair she does have a blackish brunette type of hair so to come in with darker colors. Here's the fun part, coming in with blues. I don't know if that's value, contrast, or whatever mediums that they use, um, but yeah, I'm doing it. I like to come in with blues for the shadows and um, just to make highlights on the face. Then I like to add my purples. Why? Why not? It looks beautiful, it looks amazing. It adds definition to the face and it's not just boring you know skin colors you know you want to make this your own personal painting you want to make anything you do personal different you know you so that's my opinion when it comes to that yours may differ i come in with a darker shade of the colors um, just to blend it in a little bit then i usually like to do markers for the background because when i when you paint the background it looks all blotchy it doesn't look the way you want it to um, i usually come in with a lighter color for the outline to make it pop off the page seems like i'm not done painting seems like i needed to do a couple touch-ups but then i come with a darker shade of blue for the background
now I'm putting in my infamous signature that I just really developed. Um, I, will, I seen other people with signatures, so I was like, I might as well have my own one. Um, I wanted to come in with white and black, make it pop off the page even more. And there you go, I'm done. That is Selena Gomez. Can we all agree? Um, my sister thought, like, when I sketched it, she thought it was Cardi B, so that kind of hurt. But as, as we can all see, it's Selena Gomez. But that took around 100 minutes of editing down to 12 minutes. So yeah, give me a like, give me a comment, give me a follow. Um, you follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and on, under the same name, Lampkin Fine Arts. I will see you guys soon. Man, one mic check, one, two, three, man. This mic want to pick and choose when it want to work. Bing bong, F your life. No, I'm, just, I'm trying to get monetized on here. I can't be cussing. Mic test, one, two, three, one, two, three. Noodles. All right. <laughs> Video time, video time, video time. What did I say? What did I say? Noodles. Okay. Can you see me? Because last time I put the phone up, you couldn't see me.